Hi, this is Chris Tietze, and today I'm going to teach you how to import SVGs from Illustrator to 123D Design correctly. There have been a few videos from YouTube on how to import them, but they never covered the one fundamental issue that is always keeps happening when you import SVG files into 123D Design. And that is that the files are not dimensionally sound. Meaning that it may be, in my case, I have this light switch over there, and when I click the, when I click this, you can you can tell it is 70 millimeter wide, and 114 millimeter high. So, but the moment I save it as an SVG file, save, okay, I'm importing it right now. Uh, as a sketch, okay, and voila, we got it inside. Now here's the thing. Now as we check the file, I'm gonna quickly check the distance. We suddenly know that the length, it's totally off. And it's just crazy why it does that. Why does it come up with 198.425 millimeters if it's 70 millimeter wide, the air, 70 millimeter wide, that's the number. I have no answers. Well, I do have a workaround for this. So I'm going to create a new document. I do have to mention that this problem is not a 123D issue, but an Illustrator issue. It has to do with some blah, 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 technical stuff. I don't care. It just messes up the numbers. And I do have proof. Let's open Text Wrangler and look inside the SVG file. And bang! And if you go up there, there is the smoking gun, the proof that Illustrator messes up the file. And it, this is where it comes to with these crazy, crazy numbers. And believe me, I tried switching it to inches, speakers, and it does not matter. Anyway, I found a way around it. It requires a little bit of a prep work. First, you create a brand new document, and let's put it at 100 millimeters, right? Times 100 millimeters. And we're gonna create a quick, uh, again, 100 millimeters times 100 millimeter box. Um, let me put this, make sure it's perfectly centered. Perfect, and I'm gonna output it as SVG as well. And we're gonna call it um, square because that's what it is. And press OK. And there we go. We have a square SVG file. And let me quickly open it again in Text Wrangler. And the Text Wrangler is right there. And we can tell that for some reason, what I do not now understand it. But for some reason, instead of 100 millimeters, it outputs it as a 283.46 units. My workaround is this: you take this number. In our case, it's in my case, it's 283.46. I'm copying it, and I'm gonna use a calculator. In this case, I'm pressing a hundred because if we start out with 100 millimeters. I divided it by the number that I just uh, copy and pasted, and voila! This value, we have to shrink down this. This uh, we have to shrink down our Illustrator file towards this value. So I'm gonna uh, quickly copy it, and I'm switching it back into Illustrator. And let me quickly go to my file, and here we go! Awesomeness. Now. What we, what we now need to do is, we select everything, go to width, and make sure that the constraints are enabled. And I'm gonna multiply it by the number that we just found out, which in our case, blah, 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 uh, would be this. So pretty much star times this number. And voila, we have that. We do have to do one more cl small cleanup and that is, we have to put this right at the edge. 
which makes it import to 123D nicer. And let's resave it. Save as, light switch, that's fine. Um, replace, okay. Now, when we import the file, cancel. When we import the SVG, I can already tell by the grid that the file aligns properly. But just to make sure, why don't we just simply... Here we go. It, as you can see, it's extremely accurate, right? When you do 3D printing, for instance, like in my case, um, this project was for 3D printing, this 0.002 millimeters, it really does not make much of a big difference. And if you really want to... And if you really want to have it correctly, 70 millimeters, you can always do that in your slicer or in enough different 3D program. So this is how we import SVG files properly into 123D design. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I'm now pretty new at this. I haven't done many videos like that before, but I intend to. So press the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And thank you so much. Happy 3D printing or designing or whatever you do. Bye-bye.